Alright, well, let's head back down. We're heading to Edgewater. Do return in one piece, Captain. I'll try, but sometimes those pieces get blown off. Alright, so we're gonna to select two companions. I don't know if it matters what order I select them in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, well, that, that decides it. Yep, we'll have six companions. Continue. For deserters forced to return by heroic stranger. Well, you don't have to put it like that, guys. Come on. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? Ho, <laughs> ho. Keep forgetting about uh, all these options. Of course. Are you ready to break into security on the Groundbreaker? That's the plan. <laughs> uh, definitely. All right. So we should probably deck out Vicar, Max. He has all the same stuff as. Parvati, for the most part. But I wonder what his ability is. Let's see. I'm gonna go here. Trick shot. Knocks the target to the ground, making them unable to take any action for a short time. Uh, weaken. Lowers all skills a moderate amount, and target takes increased plasma, shock, corrosion, and N-ray damage. Holy shit! Yeah. Yeah, he sounds pretty awesome. Plus five dialogue skills for that. We'll give him a helmet. Just so he has a little bit more armor. Doesn't matter what it is. Weapon wise. He likes shotguns. So I'll give him a tactical shotgun. Does more damage. I wonder if I should be upgrading the base damage for their guns too. I probably should be, tinkering and everything like that. I'll have to keep that in mind later on. But yeah! Uh, Vicar sounds like he, he meshes well. In fact, Parvati and, and Vicar Max both combined seem like they'll do well with me. Parvati can knock people down with her melee attacks, and Vicar can weaken people with his stuff and also knock them down, which is pretty nice. Let's go, um... I came back here because of... Two things. First off, I want to see what happened to Reed. Second off, I want to see what happened with Zoe Chandler. I want to see if she's still on the planet, and if we can get her here, or what. Also, I guess we could also talk to Adelaide. Hi, Adelaide. Time changes all things. Even Reed's stranglehold over Edgewater must inevitably yield to the attrition of time. Well, now that Reed's gone, what do you plan to do? Start anew. Edgewater will become the town it was meant to be. A place where we live in harmony with the world. Where none of us writhe under the whips of corporate masters. A place where all are welcome. Except for Reed's supporters, of course. <laughs> okay, I suppose. Are you concerned about the plague? Saltuna was making the town sick. From now on, if anybody's hungry, they may feast from the bounty of the soil. Mm, and you're still using corpses in your fertilizer? But of course. And now we have a whole cemetery to ourselves. Right. Okay, how's your garden doing, anyways? The garden will bloom anew. I have plans to transform the old cannery into a nursery, with crops enough to feed a town. Okay. Well... That's, uh... That's good, I suppose. I wonder if we can find Reed. He's gotta be out there, somewhere. Maybe someone will have information on him. But who could we ask? We'll just have to go up to all the named NPCs. Phyllis! 
Somebody's been spinning a tale about a lost colony ship. Talk like that'll get you reported real quick. Haha, <laughs> that's awkward. Haha, <laughs> that's probably been me. <laughs> Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Okay. Don't worry. You didn't have the information I needed, Foreman Granger. So now there looks like there are a few more general workers in this place because, hey, the deserves are back. I like how we basically left for <laughs> 30 minutes. And it's going to be like as if we've been gone for days to weeks. Let me guess, Thomas, hey. I never got a chance to thank you for hearing me out. Gave me the courage to ask for a job in the workshop. I see you decided to come back. I'm happy when I'm working with my hands. Just got to convince them to let me use the workshop. Okay. I just wanted to see what he what he'd be up to. What mods could I slap on this? I could increase his magazine size. What the fuck would happen if I changed the plasma rifle to shock damage? Huh. I hadn't considered that one. Wouldn't I want to slap a sniper scope on this? I could. I don't know what kind of damage fall off there is, though. Wish we had some better rations. I know how you feel. I've got nothing on my bounty board. That's a good feeling. Hey, thanks for helping me back in that cave. You got a real knack for curative work. Hmm. I'm glad to see you back up and about, man. There you are. Was hoping I'd run into you. Not everybody made it back to town. Girl named Zoe's been gone a few days. Okay, all right. Upbeat, a little strange. Love Rizos. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank the Eternal. Wait, Marauder Camp. Is she all right? She's becoming one of them. She calls herself Queen of the Marauders. You mean in the head or? <laughs> Zoe's family. Chiding her is our purview, not yours. If you could bring her home, I'd be obliged. And if you could cross off some marauders on the way, I'd be much obliged. There you go. All right. I've got some questions about Zoe. I'll tell you what I can. How well do you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. The traitor dude? All right. What is it? I'm feeling pretty low. Where the hell is he, though? All right, so we did get another mission. I wonder if we could have talked to her about Zoe beforehand. Stefan, hey. Back to the old canning mill, I guess. Sorry about that. I'm told one of your numbers got missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Uh, what happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were going to watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. I mean, I'm not really a corporate fixer, but I am. I like to pride myself a fixer of a sorts. Tell me about Zoe. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Huh. What was that about surprising Zoe? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest masked marketeer. I was going to surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Aww. Any chance you can lend me that copy of the masked marketeer? Not much of a chance, no. Mind if I ask why you're interested? Zoe's living with marauders nearby. I need something to tempt her back to camp. That's exactly it, yeah. Zoe's living with marauders? 
Yeah, that sounds like the sort of sideways, brat-brained plan Zoe'd come up with. Yeah, it could be you're telling the truth. Or maybe you're trying to wheedle me into relinquishing my only copy of The Masked Marketeer. Oh my god, It's dude. a collector's edition after all. <laughs> oh, look at my face. Do I look like I give a damn about your show? Yeah, you're probably right. A true fan would have displayed a gleam in their eye upon hearing the words collector's edition. Here you go. Latest copy of The Masked Marketeer. Tell Zoe we're all waiting on her. All right. More questions about Zoe. I'll help if I can. Was she acting strange before she disappeared? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. <laughs> hey, out of here. I got time. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving, Stefan. Jeez. All right, let's go head back to uh, Zoe, who is just chilling out over here by herself. Uh, we discovered her way too early on without having the mission, so she's just kind of... It was weird, right? We we killed an entire town next to her. She's like, wow, that was cool. And then we just left her there. What the heck? Are there more enemies? Oh. I'll keep quiet. Eh, might as well go loud. Damn, I was hoping he'd run out a little bit. Nice work. So what's my capacity? Yeah, 150. They said companions would assist our, uh... Our carrying capacity. It doesn't look like Vicar Max did that too much. A little bit of a disappointment if you ask me. But I accept that. And I'm happy to see that enemies have respawned. I wonder if that happens just because we left, like, as an official part of the story, or... Here they come. Or if because, uh, we went to orbit. Because say, you know, maybe I want to farm, uh, farm some things in the future. It's important to know the difference. Because it might not be possible, or it completely is. I wonder what that bar next to my XP bar is. Because you have the XP bar, and then off to the side of it, there's kind of like this section hanging off. And I'm wondering if that's going to turn into something, or if that's going to be just something there for the sake of, like, looking pretty. Oh, shit. Ah, god damn it. What happens when I'm concussed anyways? Uh, let's see. Debuffs. Concussion. Reduces all attributes and slows weapon attack rate. Ooh, every attribute? Damn. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a snack on some food. Apple juice. No, I just want something that heals. Noodles. No, 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 no. Fuck that. Does that help at all? It doesn't. Fix the brain. That also didn't help. The concussion's just gonna stay here for a bit. Hey, Zoe. Can you... I was about to say, can we talk? What's going on? What I wouldn't do for a Wentzworth. I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Stefan told me about your favorite cereal. So you tracked me down just to gab about the mass market here? I am impressed. I've got it here. Yours if you promise to go back. No, oh, Stefan wanted to watch this with you. I see what's going on here. I'm being bribed. Well, it's working. I can't say no to my favorite cereal. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. Oh. I'm great at clarifying. Is that it? Why'd you leave camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague. 
and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. I already asked her this. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. Right. Well, uh, enjoy your walk back to camp. I'm a little sad that I wasn't getting her as a uh, companion, but that's fine. We got two companions also off of one planet. Sorry, everybody. I'm prone to stepping on mine sometimes. What is that? Just a rock. Thought it was, you know, like a body or something staying off to the side. Is there anything I could... Ah! Fucking ow. Anything I could loot over here? That's all I'm concerned about with. I wonder what Ludwig is up to. Again, I still need to also find out if there's anything with Reed, because, well, there's got to be a way to get his key. Maybe. Without killing him, that is. Or pickpocketing him. Some better rations. That's the way it goes, I suppose. What is it? I talked Zoe and coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? Um... She joined up with a band of marauders. They hadn't heard her. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Mm, tell me where Reed is. Ah, oh, well, I can't tell if you're pleased to be back in town. Hard to say. Without Reed, we've got the run of the town. I guess that's a good thing. Adelaide went on about living in harmony with one another and whatnot. We'll see if it comes to pass. So what happens when my reputation is at revered, anyways? Character. Reputation. Revering. Uh, Prices are reduced by 25%. Cool. The deserves are a community of disillusioned workers who left the town. Uh, okay. Current status revering. Best employee ever. Deserves a big bonus and a promotion. Cool. Wish we had some better rack. Town's been humming with power. Somebody must have been down in the old plant. It was me. Go ahead. You asked me about myself. Suppose I did. Ready to talk about it? I'm still trying to figure that out myself. What's there to figure out? Stands to reason you work for a company. You ain't Spacer's choice. Could be you're with Auntie Cleo. That's right, I'm an Auntie Cleo worker. I don't work for any company. You're one of those freelancers then? Running about Halcyon, selling off your loyalties to the highest bidder? Well, good luck trying to figure yourself out. Sounds like you'll need it. <laughs> All right, we're leaving. <laughs> they don't they don't care about me. Conrad, hey. What can I do for you? What do you think about things? Go ahead. Nothing. Got you. All right, we're going to talk to two more people. Silas and Ludwig. Silas especially has like the most, <laughs> he's got to dig up all the bodies he's been taking care of. Things are changing around the Vale. Don't matter much to me though. Graves still need filling. No, they don't. Yeah. Damn it. It's like some things changed, but not enough things changed. And I still wonder what happened to Reed. Oh, well. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. Right, 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 right. Then we take our leave. I'll sell some stuff. And then we're going to head out. Let's see. Wait. Say goodbye to these. These, 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 these. Uh, these. 
Dies, dies. What is Vickers armor? Dialogue skills. Yeah, okay. I'm curious as to how dialogue skills apply to companions. Will they just take over for me in a conversation if they have a higher persuasion than I do? That'd actually be pretty cool. All right. Let's make our way over to Groundbreaker. Actually, Phineas Lab. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? No, don't worry, Ada. You can, you can keep thanking yourself. Phineas's improved, improved, uh, improved science lab. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? Oh, damn it, blast, that's loud. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. All right, well, I'm glad you not like telling me my to leave. Mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since, uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. What about Hawthorne? I guess you wouldn't consider him a visitor. Hello. I'm concerned about a lot of things, including your pig bubbles. Hey. Oh, thank the law. Your skin hasn't spontaneously changed color. Potential side effect of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, cathanoids, cysty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. Okay, well, um... For what it's worth, I appreciate you pulling me out of the hope. Uh, out of hope. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board. And emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. Yeah, that's okay, buddy. We'll get him out, I hope. Of course. Uh... What's on your mind? Can you fix up the... Oh. Well, I guess. Is there some reason you're hiding behind bulletproof glass? Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. I wonder if he's... No, he wouldn't be stuck in there. He helped us with the other place. Got a moment, Doc? Absolutely. Let's talk. Have you met my crew yet? No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. <laughs> ah, the wanted criminal himself. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted privacy. Uh, look, 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 look. They're relaxed. They're with me. Oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found a crew, such as they are. You're a talented scientist, after all. Our kind has always been incredibly popular. What, I am? Mm. Mm. I did go for a science aspiration, I suppose, yeah. Uh, you're right, I'm doing pretty well for myself. I'm not... No, 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 no. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Well done. Also, you still haven't spontaneously liquefied, which pleases me immensely. Progress. What's on your mind? I wanted to talk about your damn... machine. Ugh. Don't you ever leave your lab? Oh, goodness, no. I wouldn't survive ten seconds in the blackness of the aether. 
Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least 12 seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. Wait, hold on, what? <laughs> That's not what I meant, do you have some kind of life outside of work? Wait, how do you save me then? Life outside work? No, of course not. My life is my work. For that matter, everyone else's lives are also my work. An entire colony's worth of lives are at stake. It's up to me, uh, up to us, to set things right. To answer your question, I'd rather stay right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The Hope's colonists won't revive themselves, you know. I mean, technically they would, because I'm the one saving them. And I'm a Hope colonist. But, you know, we're both working on this together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you so obsessed with reviving the Hope's colonists? Because we've lost our way, the board has a stranglehold over this colony, and we've all been conditioned into total obedience. The Hope is full of specialists, scientists, engineers, talented individuals like you, and people who haven't been corrupted by the board. Unfortunately, the Hope's colonists have been frozen for decades, well past your shelf life, so to speak. No offense. Yeah, but you revived me, so you must have solved the problem. Well, we already know about that. You mentioned needing some special chemicals. Is that why? Precisely. The chemical I need is dimethyl sulfoxide, a rare, potent, essential to reviving long-frozen bodies. Ten years. That's how long the average human can remain in hibernation. You were frozen for decades. In theory, you never should have survived the revival process. But... The conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. There's yet hope for the hope. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I do. All right. Don't try to be funny, Phineas. It doesn't work. No, I wouldn't be that mean. I'm glad to hear that. Everyone on the hope is depending on us. We'll do our very best to save them all. I'd best get back to work. Oh, I can feel my last dose of caffeinoid fading. All right. Well... There was a conversation option about asking to repair their monitoring device, so I guess we could, like, talk to him often, but I don't... But that option disappeared. Oh! Ah, your old hibernation mask. Had to remove it, you know, in case you were prone to vomiting. Huh. Dehibernation experimentation notes. Raising core temperature another 5C over one hour. Doses appears to be working. Slight diffs from process and cyst pigs. Not beyond expected boundaries. Microscopic assessment shows no signs of sudden traumatic mast cell wall collapse. Encouraging. Reminder, still need to pop mop up pig. Ew. Need to get a view into the cream to see what's going on with neurons. Oops, hand slipped. Likely effects? Ah, nothing important. May have numbness in left heel. Who even needs that? Looking at sample. Evidence of hyperactive production of dopamine and, and non repinephrine Curious. No evidence of entropic effects on neurons, however. V, v excited. Now if only I can keep them from exploding. Raising core temperature, another 5C, one hour. Oops, I forgot I had a probe in brain. Jostled with elbow. Subject may suffer numbness in right earlobe. Acceptable. Feel ridiculous uh, telling. Mostly frozen slab meat. You're doing fine, gum. Oh god, it was me! Mm, practicing bedside manner important. AIDS recovery. Curious about that neurochemical production. Side effect of prolonged hibernation? Subject may experience uh, tacky... Psych psychia. Exaggerated flight or flight response. Check brainwave. Found sharp uptick in perceptive cognitive processing when I just jostled the probe. Fascinating. Equivalent to speed of common fly's brain. Could be useful in stressful situations. Subjective time dilation. See world moving in slow motion. Would everyone from the Hope have this sort of brain damage or is it pe peculiar to go? Can't wait to awaken more from Hope. Study in detail. Is it even right to call this effect brain damage? Seems like enhancement to me. Who wouldn't want on-call hyper-fast cogn uh, cognitive response? Am I envious? To expand the breath, uh, expand on a breath to, or to expand, oh my god, to expand the span of a breath to an eternity? To be able just for a moment to perceive the world in all its infinite detail? Eh, core temperature still stable. No sign of cell wall decay. Neurological necrosis. Beginning next 5C over one cycle. Yes, I believe I do envy you, Gom. Well, that's okay. I do like having the power to slow down time. Can I scan him? 
Level 20. Cheese with their mouth open. Oh, that's mean. Hello there, Bubbles. I can talk to it, but it, it can't talk to me. Don't mind me, just taking posters, I suppose. Reminder, seals leak. Never use this pod. I mean, at least it worked. Ooh, shrink ray. Science weapons. Science weapons are, use are unique weapons that have strange and powerful effects. Science weapon damage and the strength of their effect both increase as your science skill is improved. Ah. Aha! Uh -huh. I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Find a target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. Alright, yeah, I can do that. Science weapon. Created by Dr. Phineas Wells, this handheld device is capable of shrinking any living being it is fired at. On the bottom of the grip, Dr. Wells has personally signed the number, or the weapon, and optimistically numbered it 001. Cool. Yeah, this might be pretty useful. Shrink an enemy down. How do I... Hold on. I wanted to see if I could make the main weapon my character was carrying different, but I, I don't know how. But yeah, shrinking enemy down probably allows you to do extra damage to them. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Thank you over the parts, even if I don't know how to use it. Messages. Uh... Passage, or er, password required. Bypass. To Blight. Wait, what was the password? No, oh, it's gone now. I worked it out. Explain details later. Will be difficult to reproduce. Need your help. All necessary materials should be present in Halcyon, but locations elude me. Dumped a new passcode, Dirtside Terra 2. Or dumped a new associate, Dirtside Terra 2, near Edgewater. They have a stake in my purpose, but trust them in about only, er, but trust in them only about 23.7% at, at present. They're recovering a ship. Should be along any time. Just need to know where to send them. Just let me know when you get this done. Uh, get this. You're gonna be done. I'm trying to read too goddamn fast. Careful, that's my communications terminal. Don't worry, I only hacked into it and ran to your private messages. Ooh, what is this? Hey, this is the pot I was in. You spent over four decades in space with nothing but the technology of this little chamber keeping you alive. The rest of your fellow colonists are still trapped in similar chambers. Waiting for you to restore. Reviving you from hibernation was my greatest accomplishment. Your odds of survival were a mere 28%. I don't need you to tell me the odds, man. I, I, uh, we made it out. That's what matters. Hibernation helmets like this have not been seen in the in Halcyon since the first colonists arrived on the Groundbreaker. Whoop. It looks so dumb. But it boosts tech skills, so that's kind of neat. What else can we examine around here? You got this creature. It's, um... It's eyes moved. Okay, we got... We're getting away from that. I can calculate the movement of the heavenly bodies, but not the madness of men. Newton. Experimental notes. There are a ton of experimental notes. What about this? SWH... 181942. I wonder what that's about. Personal entry. Have procured the services of one Captain Alex Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I hope he didn't name his ship after the quality of his services. I'll be sending my new accomplice down to Hawthorne via escape pod as soon as the revival process is complete. Hawthorne should make for an agreeable companion, or at least an acceptable chaperone. Law willing, he isn't a total buffoon. Yeah. Alright, what do we got? Flash frozen organic materials reverts back to original cell structure when treated with tincture of dimethyl sulfoxide. Rate of explosive cell death of very respectable 6%. Bad news, difficult to acquire. Limited quantities of compound likely produced by Auntie Cleo. Recently discontinued due to severe adverse reactions. Must find more. Let's see. Artificial stasis successfully induced in cystopig specimen. Revivication complicated. Uh, cystopig tissue returned to living state. Brain tissue suffered from rapid... Nucleation. Attempting treatment. Treatment progressing. Treatment failed. 
Brain tissue irreparably damaged by rapid onset necrosis. Explosive cell death. A finished cleaning liquefied remains assist to pick from laboratory floors, walls, and, and equipment. God. Within like nine hours, fucking cell death. Christ. All right, other thing. Fresh out of Auntie Cleo's, experimenting with Spacer's Choice partially emulsified creamer substitute. Finished brewing, adding two ounces of Spacer's Choice. And the result, atrocious, felt part of self die on the inside. Add Spacer's Choice to the list. Note to self, buy more mouthwash. Oh God. Having spared one of my, one of my stock of experimental sister pigs to be used as a renewable source of nourishment. Have named this lucky pig Bubbles. Giving an animal a name establishes rapport and creates a positive emotional bond. Allegedly improves flavor of tumors? Must look into that. Excellent creature, sister pigs. Don't know how people used to survive without these genetic wonders of porcine succulents. Slaughtering a pig for meat instead of harvesting tumors that ripen naturally, falling off the flesh like mock apples off a tree, seems the height of a barbarity. Truly a miracle of modern science. Ew. You just keep the pigs alive and eat the cysts that fall off them? That's... I guess more humane than, you know, more reasonable than outright killing them, but gross. Note, extinguished plasma cutter before return to pocket. Yeah, definitely a solid idea, Doc. Ooh. So I was right in that he was, that he is. A mad scientist type. The sissy pigs make excellent test subjects. Also surprisingly nutritious. When you say unsurprisingly nutritious, I mean they do seem to be a delicacy. Something enjoyed all around the world. Alright. I think we're ready to head out. That's the ship that he rescued us on. That's all banged up. Guess that's not getting repaired anytime soon. Alright. Any other small bits of loot before I get out of here and go to the groundbreaker? Oh, bypass shunt. I like how we've been using a ton of the maglock hacking tool things, but not really bypassing stuff, you know? Lock picking items not really happening as much or as often. I will have to say I'm totally fine not having like a hacking or lock picking minigame. If my character already has the skill, I might as well have that just work from the get-go. All right, Gladys, take us to the Groundbreaker. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. All right. Before we go into the Groundbreaker, I will actually take a small little break here to have a little bit of food because I've been playing for like four and a half hours. So, be right back. <laughs> 